Well, it's kind of funny how um, these kind of things are just plucked out of air. Low-level hum was mentioned in passing in a conversation me and Eloy had. Uh, we were talking about a place here in the States where there was a hum going on for years and years, and the citizens couldn't place it. And I mentioned low-level hum, and Eloy said, that's it, that's it, low-level hum. You know, Andres never really liked the, the name Low Level Hum, and I think it has to do mostly because we came up with the name. Well, the first time I heard uh, Low Level Hum, I was a little taken aback with the idea that these guys had, you know, came with a name and I wasn't around. Well, I think that Low Level Hum um, in Drove sounds more like Low Level Hum than, than we do, personally. We brought it back to the other guys, and Andres was just, nope, 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 I don't know. Low Level Hum, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I've sort of always envisioned sort of a radio dial and uh, kind of twisting the, the, the dial back and forth and sort of like when you, you watch the, the numbers kind of go by, that we're sort of like in between the numbers. I had this bass, you know, part uh, in the chorus where um, it's just, you know, it's rocking out. It has some fuzz bass in it. And Andres wanted to, to not have that. He said it shouldn't be with, it should be just without a bass. And I thought that that was a really stupid idea. Well, when I first heard the track Plastic Vomit Girl, um, I was really into it. However, on the way to our band practice, I was actually listening to Prince. And it was When the Doves Cry. And Prince and his band was sort of like at an impasse. And the way they, they sort of broke through with that particular song is they just deleted the bass. And that's the one that threw me for a loop, Plastic Vomit Girl. That brings up all sorts of images until I heard the music. I don't know what, what these guys, you know, particularly Andres thinks, you know, with, with the theme here, but we're not, it, it, the, the, the song itself it has, really, it, it's a sad thing. And then it started making sense. South Beach, Plastic Girls, puking all night long. Plastic Vomit Girl fit once we all started doing the music. So whether the bass is in there or not, it's still a great song. It's, it's sort of like that girl that you don't want to like. But you can't help it. Well, working with um, Elo and Andre, it has been a little bit more intense. You've got Elo on one hand who has a back catalog of music that he's been doing for years. And he's got a way of doing music. And then you have Andres who has got an idea, a perception of what music should be. And these two kind of clash sometimes because of where they're coming from. Working with Eloy definitely was an adjustment. You know, some might say that he's a... Uh a mad scientist. I actually think he's more of like a mad genius. They they consider um, the emotion of the moment more than 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 the actual work at hand. Get your work done and then you can sit and cry. Definitely some idiosyncrasies that sort of kept us churning our wheels. It's you know it's it's a simple process. We do get together and when the instruments are plugged in and the music's going, we all agree problem is after the music stops. We've done good. That's my purpose here is to cut through the, the crap. You 